Have you told? Have you ever been in a in a situation? Because I want you to tell a story because you haven't told it on a podcast about. Oh, uh, not on this one, no. Yeah, but but um, have you ever been in a situation where somebody gets a little lippy with you on the street? Guy like me who says whatever, blue eyes, um, green eyes. Are they green or blue? My, I'm lost right now. They're, I got lost. they're green, uh, yeah. but depending on the lighting, whatever your favorite color is, they can be that. <laughs> bro, <laughs> yeah. bro, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Bro, <laughs> Thank fuck you. it. Thank Gee, you. Hey, hypnotist. <laughs> What's going on? I thought I was straight this whole time. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, wow. Have you ever been in a situation? Um, I mean, I I was a bouncer for a little bit, so I'd, I'd have to like smack some people around. But um, but never on the street like in Austin, right? No. Like, like, dude, if I get into a problem, I just walk away. Like, yeah. like I'm gonna kill this guy. I don't need to kill anybody, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with God, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you're with God. Now. Oh, oh you're with God, God, brother. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, fuck, dude. He's pointed up. What there. would Jesus do, man? Dude. Mickey Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he starts winning, all of a sudden it's Jesus. <laughs> Bro, you got real religious people right. watch us like son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. All seven of them are like son of a bitch. Yeah, you got to deal with Nikki and Jesus, you know? That's wild. Yeah, but with with his skill set and his accomplishments, you're not getting into street fights. There's no. Dude, I don't want to fight anybody. Also, punching is. His hands, your hands break, brother. Yeah. yeah, I'll snap. But you don't have to punch. You could just no, jump he, in he, foot uh, sweep or something. He's on the phone with his, with his lady, and uh, he just hears, I'll, I'll mess you up and your stupid kids. Hits the oh, car. Yeah. He says to his wife, where are you? Oh, no. She's I was crying. leaving the gym. This guy fucked up because his shoulder day and chest, and I was in a tank top, <laughs> and I was literally up the street because I always see the kids where they go to summer camp or uh -huh. school. I always tell them goodbye. And she was like, oh, we left early, and I was coming back from the gym. And then I called her. I'm like, where are you? She's like, we're at the Starbucks off DeSoto. I'm like, I'm right up the street. I'll be there. And I hear, get out the car, bitch. Hits the car. She's like, babe, babe, oh, some no. guy's getting out of his car. I'm like, no. And I hear, I'll fuck you up and your kids. Oh, She's, no. And I, she goes, dude, calm down. I'll call my husband. And he goes, call your little up bitch ass husband. Oh. She goes, say less. <laughs> dude, I showed up like fucking. She's Batman. on the phone with him. Yeah. I was literally, this dude just picked the wrong day to do this, the wrong time, because I was literally a block away. And you're looking wow. saucy. I pulled, oh, dude, I was so sauced up. I pulled up in 45 seconds, screeching halt. He was trying to leave. I, I was like, babe, don't let him leave. Block him in. And she's like, we're trying. He's reversing out of the drive through line at Starbucks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, what kind of truck is he in? She's like, it's like a work truck, like a city truck. I'm like, say less. I see him pulling out, and I just went on uh, incoming tra traffic, cut him off, got out of the car, was like, roll down the window. He's like, nope. I'm like, roll down the window. He rolls it down. I go, you have a gun? He goes, no. I go, perfect. Get the fuck out of the car, dude. Yeah. He goes, no, nah, man. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I'm just having a bad day. I'm like, it's about to get a lot worse, man. I'm about to fuck you up. And he's like, no, nah, I don't want any of these problems. I'm not going to fight you in the middle of the street. I'm like, mm. cool. There's that dumpster right there, dude. I'll go behind there, man. I will mm -hmm. snap your fucking neck. And he's like, which one? And I'm like, right over there. As I'm, point, yeah, as, as, as I'm like, pointing. I'm like, no, dude, right there. Like, I became friendly. I'm like, no, come on, dude. I can't see it. <laughs> I'm like, come on, bud. It's like right, just right there. He's like, really? Ah! And just fucking peels off. Well, yeah. it's smart. Yeah, I'd, I'd look at you and not want to. That's a bad situation. I don't want to fight either, but dude, threaten my kids and wife. Oh, you yeah. fucked up. Yeah, because you're the last person. Oh, ever. dude. No, you got to assert dominance. Yeah. Yeah. A situation yeah. Like, that, like that, you knock them to the ground and you piss on them. I was going to say. That's what I, my girl was, what would you do? I go, I would choke him unconscious, put him back in his car, piss on him and yeah. film it and then post it. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That's a good move. Yeah. Also in Texas, like people just shoot each other. Yeah. That's There's no fighting. Yeah. See, it's not going to happen in Texas here. It's like everyone's so soft out here, right? They vote for Kamala Harris. Yeah. So it's like you have real soft Tesla drivers yeah. and there's no repercussions for their actions. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, oh, bud, if you're going to talk to a woman or a kid like that, the repercussions is you don't know who the husband, you don't know, man. You can't treat people like that. Do you have I something you against Tesla drivers? Yeah. You said you Tesla? I'm, I'm a Tesla? No, no, but I heard some like animosity. No, it, nah, it, yeah, he yeah. won't let me sit in his truck because it won't start apparently. Yeah. yeah. I, I drive a Tesla. Yeah, if there's a oh, cuck in the car, white on start. white Tesla, a Tesla 3 to the little one, the cute oh. one. Oh. And cute I got one. that on purpose. We well, seem like a manly white man. Why you drive that? Come on, brother. I love that. You, you see that? <laughs> I am a manly man. It's not just because you're religious. No, I yes, stick together. Connected. I'm actually not religious, Connected. but I, I've I've studied no, Lord. And, I'm very interested in uh, in going beyond philosophy. Mm. Right, I think there's. I think take faith is. I think faith is uh, is an important aspect to life. I, well, truth, mm. right? So, so you just said something before. You said it's a character issue about uh, greasing up and stuff like that. Yeah, that to me is this idea that I want to live um, a straight line. I, I want to be honest about something. Mm -hmm. you know that, that that's there's the big difference yeah see my difference with me with that stuff mm -hmm. i don't need jesus christ to tell me you know mm -hmm. so it's like get just be a good person don't do that 
Yeah. Like, I don't need to yeah. read out of a book. I don't need a pastor to tell me. I don't need to donate well, to the church. Well, you just said, though, being a good person that. is a religious concept, too. E even, if you want it to idea, be. Yeah. It's also a foundation that my father put into me who's yes. not religious. There's also mm -hmm. that. There, yeah. there is that. I, and my dad didn't, you know, he didn't need Jesus Christ to tell him, don't be mean to people, right. don't cheat on your, you know, all that shit. Yes, don't but, steal but from your with, When you have stuff. zero religion, mm -hmm. it just becomes might makes right, right? And if you look at societies where the person with the biggest club and the biggest muscles rules, they never last. They don't produce anything and they actually become very unstable. Even with chimps and baboons, it's really interesting. Chimp, you're talking about where like the alpha suppresses yes, everything? The alpha you're talking about chimp, dictators. Yes, and yeah, and they shut down the creative and all that. Yeah, when an alpha chimp will start bullying and fucking up the younger males and, and, and messing with the, the females. The females in chimp societies will get together. They'll literally get Rip together and off. then fucking kill him. Oh, really? Yes. The, the women will be like, we've had enough of this shit. He's being a fucking tyrant. Yeah. Let's go ahead and rip his fucking arms off. And That's why being a Mormon doesn't work. Too many wives. Yeah, they can, yeah, they're yeah. stronger together. Facts. You saw that documentary. That dude had like sixty. And yeah. how about this? With with uh, they say with polygamy, you got four wives or whatever. As you're a Mormon, mm -hmm. when the man's there, the women break into like a, there's a hierarchy, mm -hmm. right? So there's the mama bear and then everybody else. Oh, you have when a starting the, five, and there's always there's a Kobe, and then you you have your your yep, your, yep. your yeah. warlock off the bench. When the dad, yeah. when she makes like yep, good but dinners. when the father, when, <laughs> yeah, when, everything's the, clean. when the male yeah. dies, when the male dies, <laughs> uh -huh. like they all become more egalitarian. What well, does I'm that sure. mean? Egalitarian? Uh, egalitarian. So equal. They, go they, they kind of like become... Traditionalists? They become, no, they all become friends. Oh, really? There isn't competition anymore. Oh, that makes so sense. So now they're all supportive of each other. And they get all fat, yeah. Mm. They give up. Yeah. yeah. Cows are that way. That's a fucking random story, but dairy cows, all sweet. They fucking break into... There's mama, there's the main woman, and everybody mm -hmm. else kind of falls in the line. But so. I think people confuse polygamy and more... Like Mormons not... That, that's illegal, Yeah. Um, it's two different things. So for a long like time, they study the, the book in of David. Some right? Is it David? Of Utah. It's That's still true. allowed. What's that? Some parts. I don't, I don't, is it allowed? I thought it was banned. Well, polygamy is essentially banned in. So in in the Muslim world, you're allowed to have four wives, mm -hmm. but the caveat is you have to treat them all the same. Essentially, you can't favor one over the other. How, the how, how are you going it doesn't work. How do you get them on that? I mean, I have so my favorite cars. Polygamy yeah. is legal in some countries, but banned in most of the world. It's most common in the polygamy belt of West and Central Africa. Thank you. Where mm -hmm. countries like Burkina Faso, Mali, Gambia, and Niger, and Nigeria. Oh, yeah, and they're all Africa. crushing it. Yeah. Polygamy is also legal in some Asian and African Yeah, countries. they're thriving up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So because you drive a Tesla, does yeah. it mean you're vegetarian as well? I am not a vegetarian. <laughs> you eat meat? I eat meat, <laughs> and I prefer to gain meat, sir. And I'll uh, shoot what, what kind of what kind of ride are you yeah. putting around? And so when you won your million dollars, are you, like obviously your dad was in the property, or invested in property. Are you smart? Are you buying like well, chains and fucking. Uh, so I have a beef jerky company. So um, I, I love should, beef jerky. Too. Yeah, I'll send you guys some. Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I gotta buy a facility to to do that. So um, that's not cheap. Probably be five six hundred k. But it's tax deductible. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I mean, I'm definitely going to chat with my uh, my CPA to be absolutely certain. Smart man. But yeah, if I can write off five six hundred thousand and then yeah. um, Raptor R is a little bit over six hundred six thousand pounds, so we should be good business yep, business vehicle. To, yeah, you know? man. Put a, toss a logo on it, so it's a write off business will, write off. I will wrap it. Absolutely. That's Do you ever deal with that. vinyl wraps? Like, is it? Is I can it, get you a deal. Yeah, we're in Austin. No, I mean, like, like, what's your do you ever have problems with them? Like I hear some people get shitty ones, they peel off. It do, you, like, yeah, you got to be careful. Like yeah. I, I had one uh, from my boy uh, Danny, who's the best I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And then I just, you know, I'm, I got problems. So I can't leave cars alone. And yeah. then I switched the color and had another shop wrap it. And they didn't have the same like work ethic and it was a disaster. Yeah. So the, you got to be careful with wrap shops. It can get really bad. Dog, if they're I lazy, yeah. I sh saw you flip that TRS. Yeah, <laughs> that is yeah. that is a scary situation. Yeah, praise Lord and Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. He was with me in that. He one. was with you, bro. Yeah, yeah. He, he was, was with you. I was one. praying hard. Yeah, that was scary. But I do dude. like when people say they're praying for me. I always appreciate that because I'm. I was like, oh, thank you. 